What's going on, Guardians? It's your Rifle here, and welcome to my Destiny video. In this video, I'm actually going to be covering on how to get the exotic first curse hand cannon. But before I get started with this, if you could, please remember to leave a like on the video. It is much appreciated, everybody. Anyways, let's get started. First off, you're going to have to have rank 5 in the gunsmith. I know that has turned a lot of you off, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But once you get to rank 5, the gunsmith will actually give you a quest called the Imprecation. And the first quest step in this quest line is called the Right Word. You're going to have to get hand cannon kills with the primary, or this is also a pretty good tip, you can activate a hand cannon telemetry. Now that right there is noise. As you guys can see right here for further proof, for one of the first people to actually get their hands on this quest line. Bada bing, bada boom. Data gathered 0% so far. Not exactly sure on how many hand cannon kills you're going to need precisely, but you're going to have to get some hand cannon kills. And you don't have to be in the PvP world to gather this data. And some good news for a lot of you, you actually don't need to be in the Crucible to get these kills. So yeah. Anyways, once you complete that quest step, you're then going to have to go back to Banshee44 and speak to him. He will then give you a quest line called Waiting on Tex, and this is actually going to involve some waiting, guys. You're going to have to wait for Tex Mechanica's next Arms Day delivery, and that Arms Day occurs every Wednesday, in case you guys didn't know. Once you finally get that Arms Day delivery, you're going to have to go back to Banshee44, also known as the Gunsmith, and talk to him once again. When you finally get back to speak to him, he'll hand over the Imprecation Hand Cannon. And with this Hand Cannon, this is the only way we're going to be able to complete Step 5, which is called weapon skills. You're gonna have to actually infuse this weapon, get kill sprees with this weapon, and go on a precision kill spree in the Crucible. As you guys can see down below, seven kill sprees and a Crucible precision kill spree is required to complete this quest step, and not to mention infusing the weapon too. Once you finally get that completed, you'll have to head back to the tower and talk to Mr. Gunsmith once again. Once you go do that, you'll get another quest line that's going to involve more waiting once again. You're going to have to wait for Tex Mechanica's next Arms Day delivery again. And once again, that Arms Day occurs every Wednesday. So yeah, on that note, keep in mind on what day you're trying to attempt this quest on. There's actually going to be two waiting periods within this one quest. So that's actually the main reason why this quest takes so freaking long to complete. But once that Arms Day delivery comes around, go speak to Mr. Gunsmith once again and he'll actually reward you with the first Curse Exotic Hand Cannon as you guys can see. Oh yeah. So pretty much this will be an exotic hand cannon that you'll get your hands on sooner or later while leveling up your gunsmith. Some people actually anticipated that this would be the way to get the sleeper simulant by getting your gunsmith to rank 5, and as you guys can see, that's no longer a factor. That is crossed off the list on how to get the sleeper simulant. And actually, some people are still speculating that you're going to have to rank up your gunsmith even higher to get the sleeper simulant, but I don't think that's the case. I believe it's actually involving collecting those fusion relics that you find randomly throughout playing Destiny, and you have to return them back to the gunsmith and you get experience for it, yeah, people are actually speculating that it's going to take 50 of those to trigger a memory within the gunsmith, and he'll actually give you a quest for the sleeper simulant. But I can't actually show for a fact right now that that quest exists, but once again, I'm pretty sure that's going to be how we're getting the sleeper simulant. I could be wrong about that, guys. Once again, this video is mainly about the first curse and how you get your hands on it. Hopefully this guide helps you all out and lets you know what's in the future for your gunsmith rank. Then again, some of you guys might be already at Gunsmith Rank 5, like, oh yeah, I already know about this rifle, sheesh, freaking old news, dude. But all in all, in the end, hope you guys still enjoyed the video, the ones that even already have their Gunsmith to Rank 5. Hopefully this video you still found enjoyable. But, I'm out of here, everyone, this has been your rifle, and as always, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder at the end of the video to leave a like, and or share the video if you're feeling really generous with me, it's much appreciated, everybody. And remember, Guardians, to stay safe, and don't sleep in pee. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.